Hi, I'm John Cannell, founder of Preppy Kitchen. Welcome to my home. Today, Good Housekeeping asked me to take you on a tour of my kitchen cabinets and show you all the ways my things are organized. Let's go. This is our custom built China Hutch and we have a lot of things to store in here. So we really wanted to maximize the space all the way from the ceiling to the floor. So we designed this with a lot of drawers and they start off a little bit deep and then they become narrower as we go up and that was because of the function that we use them for. This kind of design is called a countertop cabinet and we have lower drawers, a countertop and then a cabinet sitting directly on top. It's recessed a little bit so we have some workspace. I can put my cups or saucers here when I'm moving things around but there's still a ton of storage up on top. Below we have larger serving ware stacks of plates. Below the countertop, we have drawers that are just high enough for teacups and saucers because we wanted to be able to access those and use them right away without having them stacked awkwardly. In you go. Everything has soft clothes as well in the kitchen, which means that nothing's getting rattled around, which is very important to us as well. Above the counter, we have another set of narrow drawers and these are for all of our linens. So we have Linens fanned out, we know where everything is, and the functionality lets us just decorate the table, eat dinner, and have a good time. We organize the linens by color and season, so this drawer, for example, has our autumn colors, while below we have maybe my favorite, springtime. So we have butterflies, pastels, and the works. One of my pet peeves in kitchens is not having enough drawers. If you have a ton of doors, all these nooks and crannies happen in the back and things just get lost. When we have a lot of drawers, everything comes into view and I don't have to reach around. I just pull the drawer out and it's all right there for me. A lot of the larger pieces of china are up on top and they're not things that we might use every day. They're more for larger dinners and get togethers, but I love the way they look. So they're on display and I can appreciate them every day when I'm working in the kitchen. It's not always about plates and napkins. There's tons of accessories that go with your tabletop wear. So one of our favorite things are napkin rings and this is our drawer to organize all of our napkin rings and place card holders. I love a holiday tabletop moment, thus for the holidays. We also have like little bees and arrows for different times of year, like summer, spring, and just whenever we feel like it. Some of my favorite parts of the kitchen were all the traditional design elements we were able to incorporate. We have colonial little button knobs, little latches, and they're both in unlacquered brass. So they seem really shiny right now, but as the kitchen ages, they'll take on a beautiful patina and give us like an index of time, which I really enjoy. We totally leaned on a good friend of ours, Amy Bethcup. She's an amazing designer, and she helped us with so many details. We wouldn't have been able to do it on our own. If I was going to give any advice to people at home on how to organize their things, I would say do what works for you. I like having things grouped by color, by function, and by size. So for example, I have a whole drawer with just sprinkles in it, one drawer with just spices, and I organize the spices by use. So I have spices I use for curry in one tray, spices I use for my holiday baking in another, and then the rest is alphabetical. If that makes sense to me, it works. <laughs> Thanks so much for following along on this little tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to Good Housekeeping and you can find me on my channel, Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious home-cooked dishes to share with your family and friends. See you soon.